Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Yo, what's up, guys? This your boy Kool Aid Man 100X. Welcome back to uh, another NBA 2K22 Tips and Tricks video to help you guys get better in 2K. Mm -hmm. What we're going to be going over is the best moving crossovers in the NBA 2K22. So we're going to go over the ones that you can use and not use. So I'll sit back and relax, and we're about to jump into it right now. The first one is going to be the basic, which you get to unlock. Pretty decent. I wouldn't recommend using it for your first go around. I recommend switching to normal. Normal will pretty much be the best standard to start off with in the college uh, repertory game. So it give you a chance to utilize the moves a little bit more better and uh, work on your mix ups. And next we're going to be pro. Pro is locked, but it gives you a good dribble animation all through the legs and definitely a, a good rundown court if you want to utilize that as well. The next one's gonna be uh, Giannis. Giannis is pretty decent as well if you wanna use a big guy, but it's pretty much the same as Pro. Vince Carter, they actually add a little bit more Vince Carter game, but I utilize it a little bit way. It's crossover is a little bit too wide for me. It's not tight enough, but I recommend using it. Stephen Curry, moving crossover pretty decent. You add a little bit low um, dribbling technique to it, but you can utilize it if you wanna move down court a little bit more faster. His back is not low enough for me. Luka Doncic, they actually added him for the moving crossover too. I don't like that it's slow enough. That right hand is leaning back too much and then give a chance to a double team to actually steal the ball from behind you, so I wouldn't recommend using it. And that's going to be Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving pretty much crossover is very decent. That slow crossover from the left from the wide side across his body is a little bit too uh, difficult for me, but you can utilize that if you want, but I do recommend watching out for the double team if you're using that coming down for a court. And that's going to be LeBron James. I really wouldn't recommend it because it's a little bit too slow because he's a big guy, but he does get low enough to do it if you got a little bit of a point guard under around 6'5 or 6'5 and above. And that's going to be Michael Jordan pretty much self explanatory. His dribble moves a little bit more faster and it gives a little bit more of a cross animation to it. So I recommend using Michael Jordan as well. Uh, Kawhi Leonard is pretty much decent. He gets low enough as well, but I just don't like that crossover across the body and then through the legs a little bit too slow for me. The next one is going to be Chris Paul. Chris Paul pretty much self explanatory is dribble move, but he actually does a fake off the right hand, so that actually adds a little bit more dynamic for you to dribble a little bit more and add the mix up better. So I do recommend using Chris Paul. The next is going to be Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum pretty much self explanatory. If you got a shorter guy, the dribble move will work a little bit better, but that cross the body cross going or to the right to the left, I wouldn't recommend using it at all. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you uh, tell me what you think about it. Also, Thank you guys for coming by. I hope this will definitely help you get better in 2K22. Thank you guys for coming by. I'm out of here, guys. Deuces.